What's going on guys? So today on this Shoki Builders Showcase Swap, I'm back here at Hobby Town in the white room. You guys should know it pretty well by now. And over here on to, to my right, we have Mr. Jimmy. Is hey. it Vo? Is your last name? Or is yeah, it just Jimmy, like, Vo. Jimmy Vo over here? And of course over here on the left, I've got Sam Turner. Turner. I knew it was a T. I had have you a Sam T in the phone. And of course, you guys know how this works. I had each of these guys build something blind for the other, and now we're going to exchange them. And uh, like I said, uh, this is the one that Sam built. This is the one that Jimmy built. And of course, the swap is the concept here. <laughs> so, of course, uh, guys, we want to move in. How are we going to do it? All right, so grasp at top corners. Yep, and lift straight up on three. So one, two, three. Oh, nice, man. Very nice. Very, very nice. That's right. ironic. No, it's not. <laughs> Be versus the goof again. Because, because uh, it's like, gotta remember, I knew what you guys were mostly building. All right, so over here on the left, we have obviously a ground or a ground type Gundam kit, and over here on the right, we have the goof custom. Of course, done by each of these guys. And yeah, neither one really knew what the other one was doing, but no uh, we were kind of in a set um, cost. You know, try to keep it cheap enough for you guys. And you were both in the intermediate build level. Yeah. Because I've seen, I've seen your work before, and I've seen your work before, and you both have very individual styles. Of course, Sam being an actual painter and artist applies that skill. We'll look at that a lot closer earlier, but um, initial thoughts. I'm amazed. It's beautiful. Jimmy, you do a good job, man. Oh, thanks. Sir. I like the red and the green. You paid attention in the shiny when you told when you asked yeah, me what well, I wanted. Yeah, well, yeah. When I and looked at your um, what is it, cannon and your uh, oh the gun cannon. Yeah, yeah the gun yeah. cannon, the thunderbolt. Oh, mm -hmm. mm, he liked the metallic. Yes. Mm. And what do you think about the the goof custom here? I like it. The it's custom goose super custom. Super scarred. Pretty good. Yeah, it's looking very, very silent esque, and he, obviously he changed up the colors a little bit, or else it'd be a lot more blue. There would be a lot more blue. I, I, he asked for black and white and uh, another color, mm -hmm. primary color, and uh, I ended up doing a dark purple, blue, mm -hmm. and the light blue. Everything's painted. Some of it's painted twice over because mm -hmm. it didn't look right. Yep. All right, we'll go more into detail uh, in the individual interviews, but I'm glad you guys like it so far. We'll give you guys a good 10 minutes to play with them real quick and look at them. And if you need to explain anything back and forth, you all can do that. So, like, look at this, check this out, don't mess with this, that kind of situation. Yeah. And then uh, we'll come back for the individual interviews. Okay. All right. All right, guys. So we're going to start out by looking at Sam's Goof Custom. And uh, if you want to tell us a little bit of what you did to it, obviously we can see uh, that you did a lot of uh, hand painting and weathering detail. Um, basically, I went in with the intention of using black, white, and a primary color for Jimmy. That was what he asked for, and that's what I hope I delivered. I used uh, black, matte black spray paint, and uh, white and uh, metallic silver acrylic paint on top to give the effect of uh, shiny metal. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was really pleased with the kit. Actually, I wanted to keep the kit for a long time. And now I'm happy that I'm giving it to Jimmy because he did a wonderful job on his also, and I'm stoked. Um, and was this one of the first times you've done like one of these older MGs where it's got to do that, or? No, no, I did a Serpent Custom, and okay. it ended up being like Green Bay Packer theme. <laughs> oh, nice. Uh, yellow and uh, anyway. Did you have any particular troubles with this one? Because I know the screw joints and stuff like that can really. No, not really. I did a camphor and uh -huh. uh, the screw joints weren't new to me. Mm -hmm. The camphor, I had to glue the leg mm -hmm. because I broke one of the screw joints. And uh, now it's. This one, however, I did the black and silver mm -hmm. on the innards all throughout the body of the, of the golf. Um, it. It's, it was extremely fun, and uh, had it. Yeah, I mean, it's actually, because uh, my wife, this is actually the only master grade my wife has ever built, is actually one of these. Could you imagine being a, a new builder and having to jump off in? I had to tighten the, put the screws in for her, because she had no idea. Um, 
I mean, I like the I like the aesthetic choices, like just changing things up with the the white instead of just the normal lightish blue that is well everywhere on this kit usually. Um, and like you were saying, the kind of deeper metallic, almost navy blue kind of going yeah. on. And, and you used a mix of hand painting and spray painting, right? Yes. Okay, because so you spray painted the the, 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 base the base colors. And then I went in with metallic across here mm -hmm. and the, the bottom of the... And sharpening marker. I went in with the... This is one of the first models that I used the driver figure in. Oh, yeah. So that, that I ended up... Putting oh. into his chest. What did you do? What did you do with the big Packard? The I did not do it. I okay. didn't have enough time. I, I this is three weeks worth yeah. of work. Yeah, because you actually plowed through this because this is the it month. Collect, it collected this, dust. Yeah. So I mean, this <laughs> literally is, there was a spider web going from uh, there to there. So <laughs> behind the scenes, guys, uh, this is actually a month after what it should have happened. There was a whole lot of things all at once, yeah, and right. actually, this was the only day I could get out here to do this. So I mean, I was supposed to be elsewhere. But, you know, it's like, this is the only day I can do this, and you guys have been waiting. So, I mean, yeah, you, you knocked us out pretty quick because there was a three-week time limit usually on these, and uh, it ended up being over six weeks that you guys actually had. Um, and we'll see. If, we'll talk probably a little bit more about that. And uh, you said the, the, head, the top of the head comes off. i got to be careful. It, it actually looks like a robin's egg, which is really funny because the way you did the blue over the white. Yeah, I couldn't. Have, I couldn't um... Come on. Come on, buddy. There we go. So we can actually see the inside of the eye. I Which just glued really it there. I cut a flat spot on mm -hmm. the bottom of the eye. Yeah, I like that. And then I just glued it there because I lost the part. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna eye. say I was gonna say the entire eye mechanism is gone. Yeah, and that's I funny. Ended up just. Uh, I'll tell you what, though. I mean, the HGs aren't that far off from really that same level of. Now, the only thing I would have said that, that would make that pop a little bit, and actually you could probably fix this, judging by looking at yours, just take a little bit of chrome marker to the backside, and that, that'll make the light effect. Oh, yeah. yeah. So you might want it down the line when you get home. You could probably do that. Like just yeah. touch it with some chrome marker on the backside. Or even yeah. uh, if you've got some spare foil sticker to stick behind yeah. it, it'll really make that pop. It'll make that eye stick out a little bit in the future. Um, and I know the cockpit does open because I closed it earlier, but I'm scared to open it myself. And that, I mean, it's, it's, it's sort of because it sort of like double hinges down, right? Yeah, you pull it out on the front there and, and underneath. I'm not gonna mess with it. If you want to do it, that's fine. We'll just cut that. Okay, it decided it didn't want to open, but that's perfectly fine. That's Jimmy's problem from now on. <laughs> but I, li I like your I like your style, Sam. I like the way you, you have the hand, it's both hand painted and different at the same time. And I like it. And you, you, you always have a different uh, aesthetic choices usually. You never stick with just how something is. I've seen your work before and uh, it's pretty cool. Thank you. Yeah, what do you think so far, Jimmy? It looks really good. I. And you weren't expecting it at all? No. Like, like you had no idea? I had no idea. Yeah. yeah. That's the fun part about. That's what I love about doing these. And I know Eric. Eric had the same kind of giddy moment <laughs> with, with his when you have no idea what's coming your way, but you know the amount of work you put into yours. So I mean, and I'm sure it's it's a very different thing for you. Like the the yeah, style have, is very different. I have never actually built like a Gundam with like bow damage or like scratch off. Mm -hmm. Not yeah, you do really clean builds. Yeah, as we'll as we'll see when we look at yours here in a minute. Um, but yeah, I mean it's it's very different. It's like, but I mean it's it's your to take home and. Yeah. It's something very different. Oh, and Sam put his heart and soul into it. <laughs> I'm like you trying got, to really get that. You got all the that. spare parts. Oh, yeah. You get, you you get, get the, the instructions. You got the spare parts. And you got yeah, the you box. Get to, you get to take everything home. So that's cool. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you, Sam, for everything cool you did here. So we're going to take a look at Jimmy's real quick. Thank you, Shooky. All right, guys. So now we're taking a look at Jimmy's custom ground type that he did. And I dig it, dude. No, oh, thanks. Yeah. I mean, he got some nice multicolored greens going on there, a lot of army colors. Yeah, uh, when he said he wanted green, I didn't know what type of green. Or what type of green. Either I was going for the lightish, uh, more like a bright green, mm -hmm. combined with the darker green, but... I like the olive drab look. Yeah, the olive drab, yeah. It's when I... Because this is actually my first time actually using any other different color other than black or white. <laughs> yeah, if you go home right now, you see um, any of my kits, you'll see either black or white. And to be honest, this is actually my second 
fully paint job, too. Well, you know, rub it in for the rest of us, you know. Yeah, this is my like, second this time. This is my second. It's like, Eric, now this is the first time I've ever painted something. <laughs> it's like, oh, screw you. <laughs> I hate people who are so perfect the first time they do something. But no, it's, it's pretty cool. I mean, I've, I've never done the, uh, the MG ground type. Mm -hmm. uh, but I've looked at the Easy 8 version before, which is essentially the same yeah, kit. Same thing. Uh, and, you know, you, you, the only real difference, you got the weird extra cannons, of, but for the most part, it's all the same. But you get the nice Gundam head. And those eyes are really popping, at least on camera. Is that actually uh, just the foil stickers? Yeah, that's just the foil wow, stickers. They actually yeah. look phenomenal there. Uh, what kind of uh, paints did you use? Uh, I used a Tamiya Olive Draft 2 and a uh, British Green. Okay, I was going to say that's the darker. Obvious. Yeah, it's just the British green. And they look really similar when, yeah, I, they're, they're, when I first picked them out. But I like the, the color separation is nice, and you kept the, at least the red feet for the Gundam. Uh, what, you almost have like a uh, Blue Destiny yeah, when, Unit 2 when, situation with yeah, the shoulders. When, um, when he wanted red, I was like, hmm, how should I, how, how could three or two colors that are totally different go together? And when I thought about the Blue Destiny, if they can do it. Why not? That's Why entirely not? true. I mean, yeah. essentially, this is a this is essentially a green destiny is what yeah, we're looking at. Yeah, basically, yeah. You could call it that. So yeah. nobody ever, I have to name everybody's kits usually. So we can call this the green destiny. The green series. destiny, yeah. I like that. What do you think, Sam? You want to call it the green destiny? Sure, man. It's right. beautiful. At first, when um, I thought about... It doesn't have an exam mode, though. Well, it doesn't need one. That's how badass it is. But it would glow, like, purple over the green. Actually, it would probably be yellow. Let's just be honest here. We've got to offset all the colors. Eh, We're just well, being ridiculous. You know, it's Anyways, just, it's just there. Uh, was there anything that was any either challenging or did you push your limits on this in any ways? Since it's summer, I don't know whether or not if it's the colors. When I painted the green, mm -hmm. there was like a hint of orange in there. I have no idea what that was. There probably is because I've noticed there's a lot of gold and red. Gold. No, well, not yours in oh, particular. Okay. But well, actually, with the metallic red, odds are there's a little bit of gold in there. Because but unless it separates, you wouldn't I notice. have no idea because um, you can probably see it. Uh, okay, I know one example. Yes, where? Right here. If you look really closely, there's a hint oh, yeah. of orange in there. I have no idea what that is. It's either the heat or... No, it's, it's just the base of the paint. Because oh, okay. you got to think it's not just... It, there's a lot of colors that go into making paints happen. Okay. And I like the, uh, the kind of navy gray there kind of bluish gray that you got for the frame yeah and i was thinking about either putting it um black but that would be too dark it would to be too dark as yeah. it is and, but I, and i'm having the um, the backpack right there as dark as it could be right now yeah that's a matte black looks like you had some uh yeah i have i missed that part oops the refrigerator as i call it yeah, yeah you definitely had some uh I always hate that, just trying to make sure you get yeah. the paint. You, you're either going to end up hit, cracks, hitting yeah. it light or you're going to hit it with too much. But yeah, the, the black box. Does, does it still open? Yeah, it does. It does open. But unfortunately, I was kind of rushed to get here. And you I, didn't get all the weapons. Yeah, I didn't get I, didn't, I forgot to grab the weapons. It was on the desk. Yeah. So we're going to have one of those where we have, we have to yeah. get, where everybody have to connect again later on to get the weapons together. Hey, that's what happened the first time because it, it took actually well over a year for... Mitchell to finally get the uh, weapons and hand parts and the painted flit to... Uh... I got you next meeting. Don't worry. Okay. <laughs> okay I'm being very careful because that's super stiff right there. Yeah, I don't super know. Super careful. Yeah. I'm being careful. Don't worry. I just want to actually put the backpack on because I like the look. The completed look is always fun. And considering I just did the, the Red Beret, which actually oh, has a yeah. very ground-type yeah. backpack on it, I really dig it. Oh, yeah. And he stands with it. That's nice. Yeah, yeah, like I said, the paint, when I painted the joints, they were already connected. So when I painted it, it got even stiffer. I was like, mm. Very nice. And did you have any particular issues? I knew that wasn't, I knew it wasn't latched in all the way, but uh, did you have any issues with anything? Um, other than the paint being wonky? Beam saver. If you take out the beam saver. Go ahead. It's your kit. Play with basically, it. yeah, yeah. Oh, I wow. tried storing it. Uh huh. Oh, and, and it was the, crumpling and the up storage. the paint a lot, yeah. and I was like, "I'm not having it anymore. I'm just gonna and, rip it out." And uh, in contrast to the way uh, Sam paints, you go for a super clean look, like yeah. super clean, brand new out of the factory look. Yeah. Whereas he goes for a much rougher, more weathered look. So it's a, it's an interesting it, contrast. Yeah, it's basically. Um, you guys are opposites in two, that. Yeah, basically. Yeah. And you used uh, is it just straight up chrome marker yeah, on all the shiny chrome bits? Marker, yeah. yeah. So you had some. Some uh, peeling, well, not peeling, but it like oxidizes, and sometimes. Yeah, the, the, I've had that issue before. Those, you know, my metallic um, or my chrome marker, it, uh -huh. it wouldn't go in there all the way. So. Yeah, 
Although you didn't paint most of the gun, it's all just bare plastic. Yeah. Though I hate the hands. I hate the way yeah, the hands hold I, when I, They're when so I, dumb. When I painted the, um, the the joints, I was like, I'm not. I can't paint the hands because it's going to be too stiff, mm -hmm. and I feel it might break off. So I was. I left that bare plastic as well. Doesn't bother me. Okay. Oh, better. Good. Good. That's what we go for. Not bothering. Stay. Yeah, that hand. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like I'm, it's, I'm trying. Is this is this just painted or is this a metal piece? Is uh, it just metallic oh, that's, gold? that's painted. Okay. It was, uh, well, it looks like it could be. That's why I'm, yeah, I'm yeah, giving green, you praise on your paint. Yeah, a green mm. gunner marker or not the gold gunner marker. Yep. Dude, that, sometimes those gold markers are yeah, amazing. Yeah, they do. Yeah. Other times they can be crap, and I don't even know. Like it can be out of the same same generation, same everything, and they would still like just not be great. I just like Pete Band. Bandai's gold. Like, there you go. Yeah, Bandai's actual gold. I like it. I think it looks really good. Oh, thanks. I'm a fan of the ground type aesthetic and then, you know, you the green. Of course, Sam has already praised it. He likes your paint. He likes the colors. So I like the communication you guys got to have, you know, just telling a little bit of what you would want to see, stuff like that. So it wasn't a complete, yeah, total surprise. But kit-wise, you had no idea what you're going yeah, for. Yeah, no. But, but, man. All right, so are you fun. happy with how you put it out? Is this, is, is it, is it, Good in your mind, or is there anything yeah, you would uh, want to do to it more? Yeah, once I got like the legs, I was the fan of the legs because mm -hmm. the legs looks great on on the green. I was like, I kind of want to keep this now too. <laughs> yeah, so you put uh, all the work into it, now you got to get rid of it. I'm like, oh my baby. <laughs> hey, but this is an excuse to do it again later, but better. Yeah. Another issue mm -hmm. is that if you open the cockpit, mm -hmm. it's, which I'm not gonna do. Uh, it's super easy. Just lift it up there. Oh, it's just got the E B. Yeah. Unpainted. Yeah, I can't paint that small like Sharpie marker, man. Just Sharpie markers. Hmm. Yeah, but I just feel like it's gonna be all messy and stuff and I'm like uh, It's a pilot and it can be a little messy. Better than making it look like a ghost. That's, that's all that I did with Sharpie in here, so, mm, okay. and so I'll see. So you, you wouldn't you didn't even have to tell us. We would have never known. Oh, but that's a good concept. I like I'd it. And I oh and uh, I like the mix of the flat and gloss. Yeah. You, got, oh, yeah, you got yeah, flat, yeah. you got flat, you got gloss, and you got metallic all over. And I was thinking about having the dark um, green um, matte as well, mm -hmm. but when I when I saw it, I was like, "Wow, this is actually a good looking green." I'm like, yeah, no, you leave the gloss. No, it yeah. actually it's better to have the the different types so that of finishes. Way, yeah, yeah. So because it has it makes your eye move around the piece more, yeah. and it matters. Um, but awesome, I like that. Let me get some uh, flyover shots and stuff like that for for these things, and then we'll do uh, a okay. do the outro. All right, man. All right, guys, so you both love your kits. You both love the kits that you guys made for each other. And uh, it's, it was definitely fun doing this. I'm sorry we couldn't get together a lot sooner. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I, I know you pers you had personal stuff happen, and yeah. then we had personal stuff happen. It was just all ridiculous. Life. But life happens whenever you're trying to actually make plans because I'm not even supposed to be here. I'm supposed to be like 100 miles north. <laughs> Why aren't you? Because I had to come do this. This is work. This is work. This is that was my that was my excuse to the Jeez. wife. This is actual work. It's not just me coming to hang out with guys. I work, honey. It's like we've already put this off for over a month. So <laughs> it's like we got to get it done. And like I don't, you know, the family will understand. It's fine. But uh, you guys both did an amazing job in your in your own right. So yeah. it's definitely fun. And I love doing these. This is a lot more fun. It's just and now that we've got two or three of them out of the way, actually four technically. You know, hopefully we can get more people to do it. And you know, it did was it an enjoyable experience for you guys? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I don't usually get to build master grades that often at all. Yeah. Because you guys had the option and you know, you, you mostly function in master grades. Yeah. So, you know, yeah, it okay. is what it is. Oh, okay. So it make, it pushes you out of the the boundaries you normally yeah, yeah. would set for yourself. Get out of your comfort zone. Get out of your comfort zone and have some fun. Like with Eric over here, who had never built a Zoid before, you know, was driving him insane. <laughs> <laughs> so next time we'll go even further and do something really weird. But it was a lot of fun. I'm glad you guys enjoyed. I'm glad you like your kits. And of course, um, if you guys like this video, give it, give it a stupid little thumbs up down there. If you uh, want to hit subscribe, if you haven't, do that, please. And uh, Choki merchandise on the screen. Of course, thanks to my patrons. As always, you guys, are, you know, your support makes these things happen. And then, of course, if everybody, leave your comments down below for what you think about these awesome builders and the stuff that they've done. And then later on at the end of the year, we'll have a best builder that's been in showcase so everybody can uh, give their own opinions later on on, on who else been on? And it'd be great to have you on later. Or either of you guys, if you have other builds you want to show off, of course, we can totally do that. Because I think we've looked at... Dion, how many kits have we shown off of yours at this point? Four. 
At least four. <laughs> and Eric's been on it three, three so far, so i got to get some new blood out here. So if you guys ever do anything in the future you want to show off, by all means, hit me up. My, 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 my viewers love it. And I always like interacting and meeting new guys because I I roughly knew Sam from these meets, but I didn't know you at all. Yeah. So, yay, new friends, new experiences, right? Exactly. So, awesome. Well, we'll catch you guys on the next review. Have a great week. And uh, thanks, guys. Thank right. you. Thank you very much.